In today's video, I'm going to be giving this Range Rover a deep clean and protecting it using the help of some chemicals that have been previously sent to test out. So I'll be giving you my honest thoughts on them as usual throughout the video. The first thing that I did was pre-wash the wheels using a 1 to 20 mixture of Autoglans Brute, which was left to dwell for a few minutes whilst I prepared my wheel bucket using a little bit of the Garage Therapy wheel shampoo. On the alloy faces and barrels, I went for the Squid Ink Blue Lagoon Wheel Cleaner at a 1 to 4 ratio. This product foams up really nicely on its own, but obviously I had the added benefit of using the wheel shampoo here as well. It's not a particularly aggressive cleaner, but being gel based, it does have the benefit of having quite a good dwell time. It also has a very nice cola scent to it, which I do personally quite appreciate as I'm going around the car. On the tyres, I went for Gion Tyre Cleaner, which I have used quite a few times previously and found it to be a potent product that typically works in a single hit, although I did use a second hit here just to make sure that the tyres were properly cleaned. To deal with the mud and traffic film that was splashed up, particularly on the lower sections and the back of the car, I went in with that 1 to 20 mix of Autocans Brew in the IK sprayer and left that to dwell for a couple of minutes and I found that this did a great job at pre-washing the vehicle. I did also follow up with a snow foam to give the rest of the car a proper pre-wash and to hit those lower sections again. So the snow foam that I used here was Pyramid Car Care's Hydro Foam and I used 150ml of the product to 850ml of water. It's not the most powerful pre-wash that I've ever tried but it is alkaline so it does have a decent bit of kick to it particularly compared to pH neutral alternatives.
in order to give this car a really deeper clean during the contact wash, I went for Garage Therapy's Decon Shampoo and added 50ml of that to my wash bucket. This is an alkaline shampoo which is great for deep cleaning and preparing the car for protection. It also has loads of different uses, it's really good at unclogging ceramic coatings and it's great as a clear lubricant so it's one of those products really that I always have to have a good supply of on the shelf. I then dried off the car and went in with a squid ink iron fallout remover to tackle what was a considerable amount of contamination on this car and was very visible due to it being white. Pretty much the entire car lit up with the purple reaction within about 30 seconds of applying the product. It did take a couple of hits on some of the areas as they were particularly heavily contaminated but I would expect this from every other fallout remover that I've tried previously. I then dried off the car again and went on to the tar removal stage using mild heat resolve. Again there were a couple of really stubborn tar spots that required a second hit but overall this product did a really good job at removing this type of contamination. After this stage I did go in again with the pyramid snow foam just to remove any residue from the previous two stages and then rinsed off the car thoroughly. To add some protection for the wheels, I went for a 1 in 10 mixture of Yum Foam Plus just in a spray bottle as this is an alternative way of using it compared to applying it with a foam cannon. I did notice that reaction wasn't nearly as strong as when I've used it in a foam cannon previously so I probably will just stick with that method going forward. The protection product of choice today was Stjana Gloss Parlor, which is a spray sealant that I find really easy and quick to apply. You simply spray it on and spread it with one microfiber cloth and then you can either flip it or use a second microfiber cloth to buff it away. I used a second one here just as I didn't want the cloth getting too saturated with the car being so big. From my experience this product lasts between two and three months on a vehicle that's driven quite frequently but not prepared using any kind of physical decontamination process or polishing. It leaves behind a nice slick finish and the water behaviour of this product is really good even just on a single application. Although you can actually layer it or even apply it every month or so to keep that protection topped up because it is just really quick and easy to apply. For all the black plastics including the wheel arches and the tyres I went for the Detail Bug Tire and Trim Dressing. This product is in a sprayable format which does help to speed up the application process and also means that you need very little of it to get decent coverage. So I've used this product on a lot of cars now and I still have quite a lot of it left. On the plastics it really wasn't that difficult at all to get an even finish. I just applied it with a microfiber pad, flipped it and buffed off the excess and I really didn't have to work hard at all to avoid streaks. On the tyres it does go on pretty glossy but after about 5 minutes when it dries it leaves more of a satin finish which I do personally prefer so I thought it did a great job at finishing off this car. <laughs> 